you were a teenager in 1960 and you suddenly saw this, your first question would be, what the hell is that? Joysticks are so natural an extension of how we play that we've forgotten why we came up with them in the first place. It's 1962, and in comes the PDP-1 computer, with the first video game ever invented. Space War. It blows the minds of engineers and would-be gamers everywhere. Without dedicated inputs, though, Space War ships were controlled with the test word switches on the PDP-1 control panel. Way down there. Basically, the switches determined whether the ship turned left, right, whether the rocket was on, and whether torpedoes were being fired. Of course, this immediately ran into problems. Besides it being incredibly confusing that all of the controls looked exactly the same, the switches were in such close proximity that players would do things like accidentally hit the off button mid-game. And the controls were only on one side of the machine, so only one person could really see the screen. The game itself was a technological marvel, no doubt about it but no one knew how you were supposed to control that marvel. Luckily, the world's OG hackers were massive nerds and card-carrying members of MIT's Tech Model Railroad Club. Engineers Robert A. Saunders and Alan Kotak, there he is, fourth guy from the left, used the same concept behind throw switches for trains to create new switches, just this time for a computer. And that gave birth to the first space war control box, or what we might call a controller. With two double throw switches and a button, even though it didn't have a joystick, the tech inside these controllers was the first step to creating a kind of controllable column. But it took another 10 years when a simple game called Pong arrived. You're watching the most exciting game you will ever see on your TV set. In Pong, your paddles were controlled with potentiometers, basically little knobs that, when turned, moved the paddle up and down on the screen. That weird invention got popular really popular. Like, first commercially successful video game ever popular. In that same year, the video entertainment system was released. They tried to one-up the competition, and offered a baseless joystick that is more comparable to a bop it than it is to a modern joystick. It offered a twistable triangular cap, this time with eight possible directions, and it could be pushed down and pulled up as separate commands. Even though the system was a complete bust, the joystick itself was a total hit. Creative Computing Magazine called it outstanding. So outstanding that a year later, it became the basis of the classic design and first ever joystick on a video game console, 1977's Atari 2600. The fun is back! Oh yes, sirree! It's the 2600 from Atari! In the Atari 2600, just like with those early throw switches, a tiny metal disc makes a connection with the circuit board every time the joystick is moved. But still, these joysticks weren't as fluidly operational as the ones we have today. It took until 1997 in Japan when Sony fused components of the Pong potentiometers and the NES directional pad to create the DualShock controller. All so that gamers could trade off controls in different situations as more complex games developed. Video game engineers have finally crafted something that feels completely intuitive. And that right there is the beauty of the joystick. Without horrible button design in Space War, Pong's weird knobs, and VES's attempt to keep up, the modern joystick wouldn't be sitting on the controller we also comfortably play with today. Hey guys, so as I was researching for this video, I came across a theory that I couldn't quite fit into the story, but I thought was just too good to gloss over. One theory suggests joysticks got their name joystick because it was a term used in aviation and it was literally the stick that pilots used to fly planes. But in 1986, Stephen King wrote the book It and he talked about these characters in the 1960s who were drinking moonshine and smoking joysticks. So joysticks became slang for smoking joints before gamers reclaimed it. It's a stick that brings you joy. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, share these videos with your friends, and let us know if there's anything else you'd like to understand in the realm of movies, TV, video games, or just stories that you think could get told a little bit better.